Next on Fox News at 6, new dikes are being laid down in Fargo as a storm takes aim at the region. A Minnesota congressman draws a crowd to answer questions about the next farm bill. And a population jump in North Dakota means more representatives. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Fox News at 6. With the spring melt nearing, the valley braces for a March storm. And here we go again. For the latest, here's Fox meteorologist Kip Hines. Kip? Boy, this is a big one. You can run, but you can't hide. No matter where you are in North Dakota, no matter where you are in Minnesota, it looks like this storm is targeting you. Winter storm warning in place later on tonight. Not necessarily tonight, but more tomorrow morning. And it's going to be for most of North Dakota, most of northern Minnesota, and it lingers until 7 o'clock on Wednesday. So this is a two-day affair. It's not until Wednesday afternoon where the snow finally starts to pull out of our backyards. So if you have some travel to do, Right now is the best time to do it because as the night moves, our chances of rain and snow. Yeah, we are going to be seeing quite a bit of rain to start things out with this thing. Talking about rain lingering into tomorrow morning, but eventually all of the rain will change over to snow. And by the time that happens and lingers into Wednesday, we're talking about some hefty snow totals and we'll reveal and uh, show you some of those hefty snow totals coming up later on during the big weather show. Great, we can't wait. No can we? Okay. Oh, man. Dike protection in Fargo is underway. Yes, contractors and engineers are at work in North Fargo installing a new protection device called the trap bag. The large accordion like flood barriers are easily filled with sand or rock by specialized equipment in a short time. They're more cost effective and are less labor intensive than sandbags. The trap bags will run along Candy Lane near the treatment plant. They're also being installed along the south side of 52nd Avenue between 45th Street and I-29 to protect against overland flooding. We'll have more on the trap bags tonight on Fox News at 9. Minnesotans all across the state are doing their part to prepare against potential floodwaters. People living in Delano held the first of two fundraising events over the weekend, hoping to raise money to purchase items needed to battle flooding. So we thought it would be cool to start early and help the city and help businesses by doing something proactive and positive forward. All I can say is at this point I kind of hope it cools off a little bit and s slows it down or there could be some trouble for a lot of people. National Weather Service officials expect the south fork of the Crow River to reach 18 feet just under flood stage by late next week. In South Dakota, homeowners are banding together to save their property from flooding. Water is surrounding Jack Madison's property. Lake Thompson is in front and Lake Henry in the back. Each day the shore gets closer. He's bought tons of rock to keep the lakes from swallowing his home. Six years now and this is the worst that I've seen. It. I might end up with a 70-foot houseboat. So the trailer is 70 foot, so you never know. Hope for the best. Down the street in Lake Thompson, other property owners say there's not much they can do to hold back the water. Lake Henry and Lake Thompson are on either side. There's a small pass through there, and it is almost imminent that that will be gone. That that will, and there are cabins and homes in there that will probably not survive this. Elsewhere, dozens of neighbors held an emergency meeting to discuss short and long-term options. They expect most routes to be covered in a few days and have no choice but to begin sandbagging.